Another morning and we can't start Bumblebee. I really thought we had solved uh, the battery problem by charging it up, but yeah, this morning it started for a second, rode 10 meters and then it cut out. I don't know if it's a, a connection issue at the moment because often when we actually tighten the connection up, then it's working again. Guys, welcome back to our Guinness World Record attempt to become the youngest pair to circumnavigate the globe by motorcycle. Good morning, Bumblebee. Good morning, guys. We're here just outside of the city of Halle in Germany, and we just stopped to this petrol station for breakfast and a coffee. They've got this deal where it's like you get a nice panini thing plus a coffee for $4.99. Not a bad deal. We stayed last night just behind here at the Ramada, which was the cheapest room that we could find in this area. It was still 50 euro, so prices are going up. But I am a little bit worried with Bumblebee and the battery. The battery is not working very well anymore, and I kind of just want to get Bumblebee home now, you know? <sighs> yeah, I thought that charging it up would solve the problem, but apparently it hasn't because this morning, Totally nothing was happening at the very beginning. Opened it up, didn't really do much. Little screwdriver, da da da. And then it started, so I have no idea what's going on there. If it happens again, I think uh, we'll just get a new battery and hope that solves the problem. But it's a beautiful sunny day today, which is absolutely amazing after yesterday's rain. So it's time to hit the road again. So let me show you guys where we're heading. So we are here and today we are heading across to Germany's capital, Berlin. Yeah, I just can't believe it. We will stay with my brother now in Berlin. Yay! <laughs> I'm super excited to see him again. I haven't seen him in like two years. And especially we haven't seen him as a married couple. So it would be really nice to hang out with him and have a great time. So it's about three and a half hours to reach Berlin and it's already 11 o'clock. We will have our breakfast now and then we will hit the road. Ah, oh, no. No, it's not coming up at all anymore. I think we have to get a new battery, my love. So maybe we have to find a place in Berlin. I mean, I can try and do this, this ritual I did last time two times and see if it does anything. I, don't, I really have no idea. Yeah, look. Again, it comes straight back on. Let me see. I have no idea why. I literally didn't do anything except just untighten and tighten it again. That's it. No idea why. It's like every time I have to do this whole thing and then suddenly it's like, oh, it's all good, no problem. Anyway, we're on the road. That's the most important thing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I really have no idea what that's about. I don't know, because actually the battery seems fine, you know? Once it's like connected again, yeah. then everything runs fine. Yeah. So I have really no idea. During the day, it seems like it's working fine. Yeah. And then it's like every morning, yeah. it acts like it has zero battery. Yeah. Like it's completely dead. Yeah. And then we just take everything off. You just touch it a little bit with a uh, screwdriver and then it works again. Not really changing anything, but it That's seems to work every time. Anyway, we have 107 miles to go and what a day to be riding. I can't believe it's so blue skies today. I'm so happy. It's so, so good. So far, since we've come into like Northern Europe, we've had like a day of solid rain going through Austria, then a nice day of sunshine, then a day of solid rain yesterday, and now a day of sunshine. Yeah, but really to ride in the rain is like the worst thing you can do. Really, really is. So anyway, today is beautiful and I'm really happy about that. Yeah, me too.
feels like a summer day. So nice. Oh. Just one and a half hours left till Berlin and Bumblebee is doing great. <laughs> so we parked up actually in front of the supermarket because we will get a few more supplies now. We've been eating out a bit too much recently. For some reason we thought, oh, it's cheap, but it's actually really expensive. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So we've been over budget the whole time. Yeah. Supermarket food again. Yes. It's really cool because in Germany we can return our bottles actually. And we get 25 cents per bottle. So what goodies did you get from the Penny Mart? Well, first of all, I spent, I think, 20 minutes just walking around inside there and just, you know, looking at everything. I got us some breakfast, choco granola, because I know that Oli was craving for chocolate granola since one year. That's true. And we never could really find it. So this is 600 grams of the best chocolate granola you can find we will have a little bit of a snack now look at right, that. Baby. we are back in turkey yes we will share this one and then i bought one of those cool look at that yeah i think it's like with spinach and feta yeah let's try it out hey beautiful 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 <laughs> i said it yesterday and i'll say it again germany has a lot of forest yeah, it feels like that we just ride from one forest to the next to the next, you know? Yeah, I'm really impressed. I think Germany, I read, has around 30% forest cover, which is pretty good. So although there's no like mountains or anything in this region, there's been a lot of forest. Yes, but otherwise, yeah, it's a really flat ride. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not the most scenic ride with a motorbike. But the most important thing is that it's not raining. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's really lucky today. Yeah, it's been a peaceful ride. Yeah, arriving in the outskirts of Berlin. Beautiful, beautiful. Still a lot of trees here. Yeah, it's just nice to be to be in the capital city of a country where it's not 30 degrees. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> this is a new experience for us coming into a country capital. It's quite chilled actually. Yeah. We're actually only like seven miles from the city center, but it feels quite peaceful here. Yeah, it does actually, yeah. it does. Oh yes, coming into the center of Berlin now, look at this. We are on the Bismarckstrasse, named after Kaiser Bismarck, apparently. Look at this. Yeah, this is here some sort of walls. <laughs> but not the Berlin Wall. If you see the Berlin Wall, it's not very impressive. <laughs> it's just a little bit of concrete. <laughs> so this is pretty much the main, main biggest street of Berlin. On the right of us now is the Tiergarten. What does Tiergarten mean? Animal Garden. After the Second World War, the people were really fighting for this forest here. And actually to keep the forest alive, they got a lot of trees from England flown out over here to no replant way. the tear garden really yes no way so we have as well an english garden inside the tear garden oh cool yeah so this could have all been developed at one point but it wasn't it was saved yeah exactly they really made sure that they saved this part here and just leave it as a forest which is really nice and just ahead we have the siegesäule wow look at this and i don't know exactly the history about it you're the worst german guide ever <laughs> but we will look it up 
<laughs> but you can find it out now. The Siegesäule or Victory Column was built in Berlin between 1864 and 1873 to commemorate Prussian victories in wars against Denmark, Austria and France. It symbolizes victory, strength and unity. The golden statue at the top of the column, commonly referred to as Gold Elsa, Golden Lizzie, stands 8.3 meters tall and weighs around 35 metric tons. It depicts Victoria, the Roman goddess of victory, holding a laurel wreath and a Prussian eagle. Visitors can climb the 285 steps to the top of the Siegesäule, where an observation platform offers panoramic views of Berlin cityscape. It's a pretty cool monument though, look at that. Yeah. With a golden angel on the top. Yeah. And it's really cool actually, that, like, this whole area here was um, blocked off whilst they had the famous love parade here in Berlin in the 90s. Like the whole street was full of people and everyone was partying. And that was like down this street here? Yeah, exactly. No way. What a crazy time that would have been. Yeah. Yeah, this is kind of like the mall in London, heading to Buckingham Palace. But instead, at the end of this road, we have the Brandenburger Tour, which I think we call in English the Brandenburg Gates. But again, like, I'm super impressed about Berlin, just how many trees there are, how green it is, how open it feels. All the way coming into the center, it's been nice. It's been like pretty chilled. Yeah. I'm really impressed. So, German guide, tell us about this thing over there. <laughs> <laughs> so this thing over there is at the Alexanderplatz and it's a TV tower. There you go. On the left. And then just in the front here you can see the Brandenburger Tor. Oh, do we get to go through the gate? I don't think so. No. I just... think we would just drive maybe around it now. Here you go. The Brandenburg Gate. Cool. Platz des 18. März. It's like something was happening here on the 18th of March. <laughs> <laughs> okay. The statue on top there was stolen by a Napoleon. And then they returned it back here after. I don't remember exactly the history, but something like that, yeah. There you go. Wow, here we go. We're coming up to the other side of the Brandenburg Gate. Look at that. Yeah. I don't know if you can go closer. Lots I will of ask police. him. Entschuldigung, dürfen wir dort hinfahren? Zum Foto machen? Oder ist das verboten oh, hier? Ja, ja da fahren sie rum. Normalerweise dürfen sie nicht reinfahren. Ah, okay, sorry. Oh, oh okay. So, ist okay. Einmal wieder raus, ja. ja, einmal, einmal so rum. Ja. Durchfahren nicht, ne? Okay, okay good, danke. Okay, okay. So they say we, we can go and take a photo, but normally we're not allowed. Yeah, exactly. Oh, no, okay, no, I see. Normally we are not allowed. Oh, okay, just in front, yeah? Yeah, okay. just in front. Because we have to go the other way out again. Hi, ich kann dir ein Foto. Ja. <lacht> Sind aus Versehen hier reingefahren. <lacht> Vielen Dank. Dankeschön. Oh, that's ja. amazing. Amazing, amazing. Perfect. So anyway, guys, this is the Brandenburger Tor here. Yeah, we've come all the way in front of it, even though you're not allowed, apparently. But there we go. We got our picture. Let's go. Yeah. <lacht> that was quite nice of the police to let us go, wasn't it? <lacht> That's cool. Yeah, really cool. Oh wow, look at this uh, old car. Nice. Oh yeah, maybe just stop here on the left for a second. So this was the famous place where Michael Jackson um, got his baby like out from the balcony. No way, that was here at yeah. Hotel Adlon. Yeah. Hotel Adlon Kepinski. Yeah. No way. It's funny, hey? It's so funny that this place is famous for <laughs> Michael Jackson. <laughs> I know. Hanging his baby out the window here. <laughs> Pretty high up though. I think it was literally like one of the ones like way up top. Yeah. But I mean, I don't think the hotel advertised that as like um, their thing, you know. Hey, come here. Michael Jackson hung a baby out the window here. <laughs> you can hang your baby out the window too. So there we go. Bye bye Brandenburger Tor. A nice little scenic tour of the center of Berlin. Yeah. And surprisingly easy as well, compared to most cities we've ridden in, especially capital cities. Yeah. Berlin has been really, really nice and easy. Yeah, really nice and really easy. It's yeah. really cool. And what is even cooler that, like I said, here's a tear garden and my brother lived just on the other side. So in like seven minutes, we had his place. Nice. Gang. <laughs> <laughs> it 
it will be on the left side coming up in a second okay just here in this house this one yes 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 all right we made it <laughs> this is my brother and this is my dad. <laughs> and my dad is a, a surprise guest. Yeah, Oberländer. That's so good. Oh my god. 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 Oh my Oh, oh, you know? Stretching. Oh, uh, the oldest <laughs> one in Germany. It's called yeah. Halloren. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Bumblebee meets <laughs> the shoals. <laughs> the shoals. <laughs> Welcome, Germany. <laughs> so this is the way how a Berlin flat needs to look like. Yeah. Like that, you know? So you could use a bit more decoration. <laughs> so we're just heading out for dinner and we'll be staying here for the next few days. Yes, and that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the video. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below, and we will see you next time.